Hey guys, it's Jade and welcome back to another video on my channel. So, today is August 8th, 2019, and it is the day before I start school. <laughs> So if you guys didn't know, I'm gonna be a senior in high school this year. Yes, I know that I look like I should be in seventh grade, but no, I'm 17 and I'm gonna be a senior. <laughs> so I thought I would whip out the vlog camera today and just kind of show you guys what I do to prepare to go back to school. So it is about 2 p.m. right now. I went to school actually this morning because I'm in student council, so we had some things to do to get ready for the first day of school. So I did that this morning, then I took a nap because I just started my period and I have cramps. <laughs> but now we are going to start getting ready for school tomorrow, so I am just going to bring you guys along to everything that I do today to prepare, prepare? To prepare to go back to school. <laughs> so I'm going to talk fast because I had to turn the air conditioning off to film this clip. Um, even though my car is still obnoxiously loud because it's from 2005 and has like a V8 engine in it, but like... <laughs> Anyways, um, I do have a couple things that I need to pick up before school starts. Number one, I that Mario Badescu drying lotion, I put that on my, if I have like a zit, that is a must. And I have run out and I need more and I will not survive the start of school without it. Number two, chapstick. Again, only the essentials here. I also need gum and I need to find a lunchbox. I think I want another Vera Bradley one. Um, that's what I always use in middle school and then I got this one that was like $10 off Amazon last year and used that but it honestly just got so gross and like ripped and I just didn't like it and even though Vera Bradley is not like cool and trendy anymore their lunch boxes are just like the perfect size and they last a really long time so we're gonna see if we can find one of those sorry I'm in a weird mood today I think it's the whole like period thing um ignore it well we had quite the predicament. So anyways, while I was on my way to go and get all those things that I just listed out for you guys, um, my car's radiator exploded. <laughs> so like I was talking about how my car is pretty old. Well, um, quick story time for you guys. I was driving down the road. It was only about like 10 or 12 minutes from my house, so not very far, which is good. Um, and then this, my, my car just started beeping. I couldn't see any lights on and I was so confused. And this all happened in a matter of seconds, I would like to say. Um, so I looked down, saw that the temperature gauge was all the way to the hot side and passed. So luckily I was at a place on, because I was on a main road, that I could turn into this neighborhood, um, which is still kind of a main road for that neighborhood, but obviously not as bad as pulling over right there. So I pulled into there, got 10 or 12 feet, and then the car started sputtering and just kind of sputtered to a stop on the side of the road, which was great. And then there was this big like whoosh of steam and smoke and stuff that just went from under the lid. And so I sat there for a few minutes and I could not get, and I turned the car off and I couldn't get my dad on the phone or either my parents on the phone. And I was like, yay. And then a police officer came, pulled up behind me and like turned his lights on so that no one would run me over as I was standing on the side of the road and having a good old time. Um, and then he looked at it, figured out that it was something with the radiator. And my car has lots of problems, obviously because it's old, but um, this just happened to be a particularly bad problem. And then we waited there probably for another 30 minutes for my dad to come and pick me up. And then we got the car to start again and we were right around the corner from like an auto shop thing, which is a blessing. Um, and so we got it over there without it having any more problems, which is good. And they're gonna look at it, but Charlie, my Jeep Jeep, is probably going to be dead, um, which is really sad. And so I have been dealing with that problem for the last kind of two hours-ish. It's like four now. Um, and I'm honestly like kind of really sad about it. Like hopefully I will be able to get a new car if he is beyond repair or if the repair is too expensive, but it's just not the same, you know? He was my first car, I had so many memories in him and I love him a lot and so I got kind of upset about it, um, which I feel stupid about, but I don't know, I just really liked my car. So, coming back to the beginning of this video, car tour, probably not happening anytime soon. So, I don't know, that was just a very interesting event. Sorry I ha didn't really whip out the camera and vlog it because it was very stressful and kind of scary. Um, but I am back now. 
I'm probably just gonna wait to get those things at some point over the weekend because they're really just not like necessity items for me like right this second. Um, but I do have a lot more things that I need to do this afternoon to prepare to go back to school because we do have people coming over and I'm going to a dinner tonight for my sister's birthday. So I do have some things to get done before that. So I will bring you guys along. Sorry, this clip is not very peppy. I'm just, my car just exploded, so. <laughs> All right, you guys, I have calmed down a little bit, so I am ready to continue filming today's video. So the first thing that I'm going to do to get ready for back to school is pack up my backpack. Ugh! So I have been keeping all of my school supplies in this bucket right here. Um, if you guys haven't seen my school supplies haul, go make sure you check that out. There's actually a giveaway going on in that video that I'm sure, I'm pretty sure is open for a couple more days. Um, so I'll have the link in the description box and you guys can just click on it to see if it's still open um, when you're watching this video. So I don't think I'm gonna need to bring like all my binders and notebooks and stuff tomorrow because I wanna get there and see like what my teachers want and it's literally the first day and it's a half day so you're literally walking in a class for like 20 minutes and then leaving. All right, so as for notebook wise, I think I'm just gonna bring, hold on, my two planners. Um, so this one, so cute, you guys. I got it from Paper Source. Um, it's just like kind of my weekly planner thing. I put my homework and stuff in it. So that I am definitely going to be bringing tomorrow. Um, and this is my monthly calendar. I'm using this to keep up with everything for student council, FCA, and stuff like that. Next thing I'm packing is just this basic notebook. This is kind of my catch-all notebook. I write a ton of to-do lists in this video idea list. Any like ideas that come to my mind for YouTube, Student Council, FCA, anything like that, I write them in this notebook. So I thought I would just bring that so I would have a place to write things down. And then this is my summer reading book for AP Lit this year, Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. I had to annotate it. It was honestly the worst book I've ever read in my entire life so in you go so I actually got these bags um, in my school supplies haul and I can show you guys I think I showed you guys them in that haul I'm pretty sure sorry I kind of have to like duck down to get in the frame because <laughs> I'm a great youtuber like that um, but I kind of organized my school supplies in these in this kind of like medium-sized pouch I have all of my zebra mild liners and like my colorful g2 pins so this is more for like my plan or what <laughs> This is more for my planner and doing more like artsy creative stuff because you guys know that I like taking aesthetic notes. In this small little pouch, I just have a couple pencils, some black pens, and just some basic um, highlighters just for everyday class type of stuff. In this little tiny rectangle pouch, um, I have my eraser, um, wide out, post-it notes, page flags, all of those kind of office necessities. And then in this really large pouch, I'm actually not gonna bring this to school. I think I'm gonna leave this here for when I take notes at home, but I just took all of my super tip markers in the little cases that they came in in the box and put them in here. And I really love this. This set of bags actually all came together. I think it was like a Martha Stewart office collection from um, Staples. So I'm going to put in my little middle pocket this guy like where should I put you like down here um, and like my cute office supplies and then I'm gonna put my just basic everyday essentials one down in the main pocket so I'm gonna put my index card holder also in this little middle pocket I don't know if I'm like showing this very well um, I'm just gonna do I want to put it in pocket or just set it down in there I'm not sure I'm also gonna put my mini stapler in my backpack. I know I'm not gonna use like a mini stapler and stuff like that tomorrow, but I'm also just trying to get my backpack kind of set up for the school year in general. So I'm not gonna bring like all my notebooks, like I said, but I will bring all the stuff that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna leave the extra staples at home and then put, look at this adorable little mini stapler. It's gonna go right inside of there. It's gonna be your new home for the year. Next thing, I do have some extra mechanical pencils. So I'm just going to throw um, a couple of these into this little organizer section of my backpack just in case I forget my pencil pouch one day because that has happened before and then I literally don't have anything to use. <laughs> I'm also gonna put in this blue, wow, that was aggressive, folder just so I can put in all of my syllabuses and stuff like that that I get on the first day. Anyways, like I was saying, I am really excited about my senior year. I'm really excited for everything for this channel, for school, for sports. 
I'm already pretty stressed out by it, and school hasn't even started, um, just with all the responsibilities that I've taken on this year, but I really want to leave an impact on my grade and um, on my school this year. I have really seen my life change so much by seniors that I have had the encounters with when I was an underclassman or even especially my junior year I really learned a lot from the seniors that were a year ahead of me um, and so I just want to carry on that legacy and be like they were for me so I'm like not talking very well and I'm trying to be deep and then it's just not working because I'm bleh right now um, but yeah so our next task is to pick out an outfit for the first day of school. Just those good old basic first day of school things. I actually have most of my clothes, like cute clothes, in the washing machine right now. So I'm gonna go get those. I think they're gonna be done. They're gonna be dry. They're probably all wrinkly now since it's been like four hours. But um, I'm gonna go grab those and then I'll chat with you guys some more. All right, so I am going to fold these clothes and we're gonna chat for a hot sec. I'm kind of in one of those feelings where I'm honestly pretty prepared for school. Like I have my summer reading done. I'm really far along in my college application process, which makes me feel really good. Um, and I am obviously really excited to go back to school for like the first time ever. Um, but I'm kind of at that place. I think it's just cause I'm like kind of riled up about my car and all that that just happened. That makes me feel like really not prepared for school. I need to print some things off and just go back through and make sure I did everything. Yeah, see, all my clothes are really wrinkly, so that's great. Um, that has to be hung up, so we're just gonna set it over there. Ooh, a bra. But overall, like I said, really excited for this school year. I wanna make the most of it, um, and I cannot wait for all the back to school videos that we are going to be doing. I have some really good ideas. Um, I'm just feeling like, I don't know, my whole summer has been so busy. It has definitely not been a typical summer. I had my program at Vanderbilt for all of June that literally was a full-time job every single day. I did not do anything in June other than that, pretty much. Um, and then July has just been college apps, YouTube, friends, student council, FCA, like everything just kind of all piling on at once. And it's been a lot and obviously it's all good things. So I hate to be complaining about being like busy or stressed about good things, but I don't know. And I'm kind of at one of those spots where I'm just a little like mentally overwhelmed i'm just thinking about a million things at once and i feel like i can't just have like a minute to sit down and watch tv or just not think about anything um and again it's all good stuff and it's stuff i'm happy to do like i wanted to be in student council i wanted to be fca president and stuff like that it just sometimes can be a little bit much <sighs> that's that and i think honestly like i was in a really good mood this morning i was in a little bit of a weird mood this morning to be honest but good nonetheless um but then like with everything with my car, I'm kind of just like, bleh. So I'm sorry if this video is gonna be a little bit more like monotone and less peppy because again, my vehicle exploded. So not particularly a lovely day. For my first day of school outfit, sorry for the lighting change, we are now in my closet. Is that a good angle? Kind of. I don't know exactly what I want to wear. I think I'm going to go with jeans just because I feel like a dress is a little bit too formal for what I'm wanting to do. And then um, shorts and skirts, like jean skirts, I always wear those to school. Like I, There's technically like a dress code at my school, but it's not enforced whatsoever. But sometimes, like on the first couple like week or two of school they just decide they want to enforce it and then they get lazy and they stop so I don't want to risk it and I'm probably just gonna wear jeans the first day um I'm thinking about wearing like this cute little Madewell so it's kind of wrinkly because I just got out of the wash but I honestly don't care um this cute little wrap top from Madewell and then some white jeans because I wore that for senior pictures like last weekend and it was really cute but I almost like don't want to rewear that because then I'll be like wearing the same outfit as I did literally last weekend, but I need to just get over that. But I have so many other, like these are my tops. I kind of have a clothing obsession. This is understood by the amount of hauls that I do on my channel. Um, but I kind of just want to wear that again. I don't know. And, but I also don't want to get like white jeans. I'm also on my period. I really should not wear white jeans then. 
All right, so I put what I'm gonna wear on my clothing rack, just ignore this stuff. Um, I think I'm just gonna wear these nice medium wash Madewell jeans and then this super cute little yellow wrap top. Pretty basic, honestly, but I'm not really wanting to dress up a ton for the first day of school. And then for shoes, I thought I would wear these really awesome platform sandals that were in my back to school haul, actually, that I found at TJ Maxx, you guys. So, love these. I didn't have to pay the $60 that Steve Madden sells for them. Um, but the next thing that we are going to do for back to school is I'm actually going to write out my schedule on a like piece of paper with like fun hand lettering and colors and stuff like that because I'm just extra like that um, so that I can put it on my phone as the lock screen so that I can see like where my classes are because it takes me about a week or at least a few days to kind of get in the schedule of or the routine of like going to those classes. Um, I know where I'm going, obviously, in my school. I'm a senior, that would be rough if I didn't. Um, but uh, just for the first couple days, I do like forget. I'm like, oh, what's my next class? So anyways, that is what we're going to do next. So this is kind of what my little schedule sheet, what am I trying to say? This is what my schedule sheet looks like. Just wrote senior year schedule in little hand lettering. I messed up a lot on this, but we're just gonna ignore it. And then this is my schedule. I have AP Gov and Econ first, AP Lit, AP Psych. Um, we have an SGA study hall period, um, Honors Anatomy, Bible, and AP Stats. All right, so I just finished the letter to my little freshman buddy. I little put her name on there. Um, and I'm going to put that in her locker tomorrow morning. Um, like I said, it's my sister's birthday, so we were about to go out to dinner for that. Um, so I will check back in with you guys when we're finished with that. Don't want to vlog it because I feel like that's weird, so. There you go. So I finished dinner with my sister and now she has some of her friends from college over um, to kind of just do more birthday celebration things, but I'm not gonna intrude on that because I have to get ready to go to bed and uh, wake up and go to school. <laughs> okay, so it's about 9.15. I watched some TV, ate my cake. It was good, by the way. Um, and we are going to do a little bit of skincare stuff. I actually only wash my hair every other day. Um, so tonight is not a night that I need to wash my hair, which is great. Um, and I am going to do some skincare stuff and then I think I'm gonna straighten my hair um, just so I can, you know, look cute for the first day of school. Um, and uh, I have a skincare routine up on my channel. It's pretty much what I do every single night. So I'll link that in the cards if you guys wanna watch that. I don't really wanna film my whole skincare routine again because I feel like that's kind of boring. Um, and then I will check back in with you guys when I get finished. Hey guys, so it is 9.49 right now. I actually have to get up super early tomorrow morning for school because my number one, my school starts early. Number two, I live pretty far away from my school. Number three, like I said, I'm doing that senior cookout thing. Um, so I'm going to head to bed. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below as well as give this video a sub tip. <laughs> as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if the comment section is enabled, then leave a comment down below of when you guys go back to school and what year you're going to be. Um, the comment section will probably be disabled, but we can always hope. I am pretty much just gonna climb into bed. I might do a devotional or watch TV or just go straight to sleep, um, but I will be trying to get as much sleep as I possibly can. Um, I hope this video was interesting or informative or funny or something for you guys, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys.